Okay, so um, in this tutorial, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a transistor on a 1.6 board that refuses to, to power on. So this is a common issue, uh, especially if you've, you had a 1.6 board. This one is a, is a 1.6. Just ignore this stuff here. Um, but it is a 1.6 um, with a mod chip there. And uh, often a complaint is that the, the somebody's 1.6 stops powering on just suddenly out of nowhere. Um, I know one thing that can do that is moving a, a version 1.6 motherboard into, say, a case meant for a different version Xbox. So uh, a version 1.0 to 1.5, um, the, the case for that, that Xbox is different. So I'll show you that right here. Um, this one here, this is from a 1.2. So you can see there's a screw right here below the focus chip and video connector. Well, on a 1.6, there is no screw. Okay? So what happens is if you take the 1.6 and you put it into a case like this meant for the 1.2, when you put it in, um, there's metal tabs underneath the screws underneath the motherboard and as soon as you put that board down and power on the system it will short okay and uh, so the, I'm going to show you the fix to that here okay so uh, I'll be back in a sec and I'll just show you exactly what's happening when um, this problem occurs. Alright, so I got the 1.6 version set up here and ready to be turned on. Um, so the area that we're going to be talking about, the problem, is right beside this chip here. So the Zyklops chip right here. This is the transistor that, you, that has this problem, okay? This one right here on the my finger is right below it. Okay, so what happens is it's the collector on this transistor that um, just just goes. It's been shorted, or um, I'm not exactly sure what causes it, but that is our problem. So I'm going to show you a way to test that. Um, so. Uh, I'll be just back. I just get something to, to sit the camera All on. Alright, so with your multimeter you want to set it to volts. We want to be testing voltage, so set in mine to 20 because it's the closest to what we're going to be testing. So this transistor, what happens with the, the collector on the transistor is the voltage drops below 3 volts. When it's dropped below the the Xbox will refuse to boot on so you're gonna see on this board it, it it isn't suffering from the problem but I'm just gonna show you how to test it yourself here so I got everything set up with it so I'm just gonna turn it on here okay and now you're gonna grab your red probe here and you're going to test that transistor, just the collector. So, sorry about that. There we go. So, I just put my probe here. And we get a reading of. Three point two six volts. So we're good. Now, if your reading was lower than that, you know that you're suffering from this problem. So, you might only be able to get it for a second, the voltage rating, when you try to power it on. I'm not totally sure. Um, the problem has happened to me once, but uh, I didn't test. I just went and replaced the transistor right away. So. I think most of the time, if your 1.6 Xbox is suffering from that problem, or or suffer, like not turning on, that that will be the problem is that transistor there. So 
Next step, I'm going to show you how to re actually replace this transistor. Okay? All right, be back. Okay, in so for this next part, you're going to grab some. So I'm focused on the transistor here that we're going to replace. Now grab some flux, okay? A flux pen or whatever, and flux the the pads, okay? Don't need much. And then I'm just going to grab my soldering iron and I'm just using a normal um, conical tip. This one has uh, seen better days. It's pretty beat up, but um, I want to use just a conical and not anything um, that somebody else wouldn't have or that the regular Joe wouldn't have. So anyway, so I put my soldering iron to the point. Sorry. See I'm blocking the view there. And then just add a little solder. Okay. Next one. There. Okay. Now I want to grab some tweezers. Okay, so I'm just using some tweezers like this. You could probably use everyday household tweezers, the ones you use to uh, for grooming or whatever. Um, and so you're just going to hold it, and you're going to heat each side um, kind of quickly. Um, the idea is to try to keep all the solder molten on all three sides, and then pull up, and you'll you'll pull the transistor off. You shouldn't yank on it or anything it should just come right off easily um, there's a solder you can use to make this a lot easier called uh, chip quick it's a, a solder that stays molten for a long time makes it really easy but we're not going to use that here uh, I just want to because I want to show um, how to do it uh, for um, the regular Joe or somebody who just doesn't have uh, those resources so so here I'm going to put my tweezers on the transistor, get it ready for lifting. I'm going to heat each pad here. Okay, we might just need a little more solder.
Wow. Doing a really horrible job of this. Add a little more flux. I know it looks like a mess right now. Hopefully I haven't damaged any pads. There it goes. So, just needed some extra flux. So, there's the transistor there. get it to focus but um, set it down there it is so all the leads are, are still intact and everything looks fine um, maybe just clean it up a little bit but the next step we got to get the pads ready for um, putting it back down or in if you're repairing it you'd be putting your new one down right so uh, I'm gonna show you that um, we'll try to do it with a conical tip and see how this works so I'm gonna use um, solder wick this stuff right here um, you can get it at uh, Radio Shack uh, if you're in Canada, you can get it. Well, I think you can get it at the source. You might have to go to an electronics hobby shop. But um, so uh, we'll try this out. If it was, if I was doing this usually, I'd probably use a bevel tip soldering iron for this part, uh, just because it's easier. the The wick has a tendency of sticking, um, but with something that distributes heat better, like a bevel tip, it's a lot easier. So anyways, we'll try this out. Conical. Okay. Yeah, that worked pretty good. Alright, so uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit with some isopropyl alcohol um, and then we'll stick it back on or we'll stick a new one on. So be back in a sec. Alright, so we're ready to install the transistor. I actually did this already but uh, I guess I wasn't recording so I'm doing it again here. Um, amateur mistake. So first thing to do is line up the transistor here. So, it's a little tricky but you'll get there with some patience. It also helps not to have the transistor still full of flux because it's kind of sticky. Okay, that's good. So make sure all three leads are each on a pad. Now the first thing is you want to put apply pressure down on top of the transistor. Because here you want to, the idea is to get um, the lead of the transistor flat onto the pad. So, 
Here I got this a little crooked. I'll just fix this. Okay, that's good. All right, hopefully I didn't block the camera there. So um, now we'll do the other two. Let's just add a little more solder, soldering iron tip. Make sure that lead is flat down on the pad. It's a little harder for me because, whoa, Sorry about that, because um, I'm using the transistor I took off the board, so the leads are a little more bent, so probably be easier for you with a new one. It's okay that they're bent, I just put it, I just, uh, just um, push down on them a little bit. Okay, we are. So we got the collector. Collector resoldered there, and uh, the emitter and the base. So we'll clean that up and then we'll uh, put it back together and start her up. All right, so I'm about to start it up. Here's our transistor that we. Uh, took off and put back in right there it's not the prettiest work I've done but uh, hey it's functional better than a, than a broken Xbox right so it's kind of embarrassing too it took me a long time to get that damn thing off but oh well so, anyways, turn on the TV here. And we'll power it on. Switch the video input. So there you go. That's how you do it. So hopefully this helps some people with a, with a dead 1.6 Xbox and helping it bring it back to life. So thanks for watching. See ya.